Okay, so you might have to put up with me in a little bit of shakiness because, of course, I've sprayed weeds my whole life. And so I have, like, thumb trimmers. Okay, so I just want to show you this here, how that's already come loose. See there? And so I want the whole thing to come loose. So I'm going to see if I can just run this through there. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Yep. Let's run that through there. Let's see. Again, this is the periopal band. And this is the thing about the periopal band. It is not supposed to be under the foot. And you're looking at it going, well, how could it be under the foot? Well, I'll tell you, when the heels get incorrectly trimmed, it pulls this whole area underneath here. And you see this right here? Okay, that is the periopal band that covers the bulbs in the back of the frog. Okay, and what this does is it's only supposed to crown the foot like this. The way you, one of the ways you can tell that all this has been pulled under here is that if you soak the foot or the feet get wet, now partially you can see some of it kind of under there, you know, this is pulled down a little bit and under. But you can see a lot of times periopal clear into here. Okay, so that's the thing. It's only supposed to crown the top of the foot. And again, it can dry and look just like the frog. Okay, so let's go back here and let's see if we how much of this periopal band we can kind of get under and and see. Now it's interesting because as I pull this, you can see the little tubules that feed it. Can you see those? Can you see it coming out there? Oops, oops. I can see little tiny tubules right here that are feeding this periopal band. See, I've never done it like this before. I've always just cut it. So this is really interesting to me to be able to just pull it apart and to see what's feeding this, to see what's growing it. And it's just little papillae from the skin. Just like you have papillae in the coronary, I don't, now, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Paps, let's just call them paps. Little tits, all right? Little tits that feed little tubes. <laughs> okay, and the periopal is also tubules. Okay, so, just like uh, the hoof wall has tubules here. Now, um, as I said, we right now, we're not going to get into the details of the hoof capsules or anything like that. What I want to do now is just show you the two main units of the horse's foot. Now... As I said, he has a foot inside here covered with skin, just like this, that grows the hoof capsule. Now, it may not be look exactly like that, but what you're going to see is it's the same color. It's just that instead of growing hair, it grows all this. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I'm going to try and get you a picture of that. Okay, can you see that? See the tubules coming loose? They look like fine little hairs in there. This is awesome. It's the first time, like I said, this is the first time I've done it this way. Okay, we're going to see, see if you can get that picture there. See him pulling away? There, did you see when I pulled it, how the skin pulled up like that? And then it 
came back down. There we go. There's all our little paps that grow the periopal. Oh, this is just fascinating. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Man, I wish I had somebody to help me. Because I'd like to really get a close-up of what I'm seeing in here. Maybe I can do it. Okay, now this is still connected right here. So I'm going to try and get it so that you can see it pull apart. You can see it pull apart. It's a little dark. Eh. Maybe if I hold it like that, you can see it. Eh. There. Can you see it? The little paps pulling away. So cool. That's wonderful. Okay, that's too hard to hold it that way, so I'm just going to have to do it like this. Okay, see it's still connected right here. Oh, there we go. And I want to pull it all the way down. See how I'm pulling that away? How cool is that? Eh. Oh yeah. Hey, this works. Just kind of put that in there and then twist like that. It pulls it right away. So you can see the little pappies way down there. I need to put something under here to hold this foot up. There, we'll use another foot to hold that foot up. There, so you can kind of see this. Well, okay, you see that? It's a little more connected back here. How awesome. See, and, I, and even when I open that, there's still some connected little paps right into there. This is just re really so great because all I've ever done is I've cut it. I've gone in there with the, uh, well, this thing, you know. Hmm. It's going to take a little more work back here. Yep, but I'm, but it's working. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing that come apart. See it? Eh. Wow. Kind of working it off there. It comes loose from the skin. I don't really want to tear it. It's got a little extra growth there. Yeah. Let's see. wonder if we could just lightly, lightly kind of cut that just a little bit and if that would help us. There we go. Okay. There we go. See there? Woohoo! Look at that! Hope 
I'm recording. Oh yeah, that is fabulous. I'm just seeing those papillae releasing. Oh, it's just fabulous. Um, what's going to be interesting is this part up here because this here is connected to the frog right there. Now, you can feel this frog clear up in here where it's supposed to be. This is an awful good foot. I'm surprised. I hadn't really looked that close at some of these feet. So you just work it off, work it off. See, everybody, you know, I have to advise you that um, everyone should do one of these at home. <laughs> I was watching this one guy one time. He's real important, and uh, he's doing a dissection there on YouTube. He says, now you shouldn't do this, don't. No, you need to come to my school, pay me $500, and we'll do it at my school. Yeah, baloney. Now, but you do have to take safety precautions. You want to use gloves. Um, you don't want to cut yourself. Yeah, there's uh, bad organisms that might get in your bloodstream if you do that. So you do want to be careful. You do want to take precautions. But uh, this is how it all started. You know. Okay, let's see. I wonder how I can still record that. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to put that on the camera. Now, again, I just want to take my scalpel. My handy dandy scalpel here. These are stuck in my fingers. Ah. And... I just want to lightly kind of cut this right here. Just right there. Okay. Because what I want to do is I want to get it off like this. See? Yeah. This side's hard to get. Well, maybe I can do it like that so you can see it aha see coming undone and you again you can see the little paps in there releasing it's pretty 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 awesome looking come on See, every time I do a dissection, I get better, I learn more. Look at that. That's just releasing off there really nice. See there? I don't want to squeeze it too hard. I don't want to damage this. Let's see. Oh, look. It's coming undone. Okay, so much fun. I love doing this. Okay, come on, come on, done. There, a little bit. Oh, oh, punched a hole through it. No, no, I don't want to do that. I may be able to get my thumb in there. Okay, there you're seeing. See that come open there? See there? There's where you're, what they call the frog stay. Um, right up there. And this horse has a good one. Because the heels aren't all trimmed out. Now, I'm thinking... If everything goes right, 
Now, see, usually what I do, I like to get this loose and one heel, and then the whole thing will come off. Okay. Let's just take this. Just kind of bend it back there. Okay. Oh, yep, see it's coming loose. Look, see there? How cool is that? Now, this is the most vital part of your foot. This frog that grows up between your bulbs and supports the digital cushion. See, digital cushion is all in here and under the foot. Into here. Okay. Yeah, that's really. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we've got the periopal loose, but now you can see the periopal there. You see it? But on the very other side of it, is the frog right there what this does this just kind of ties everything together and crowns the foot right here and it it's vital for the horse's survival as you will learn as we continue these lessons okay so look at that see there now you know when you're looking at this if your heels aren't trimmed out that you have this wonderful big chunk of frog that's supposed to grow between the bulbs to support all this up here. Let's see. Man, I got a headache. Let's see. Let's just get that in there and let's just kind of pull it that's uh see I'm just kind of easily releasing it Still seeing little paps release right in here. Let me see that. Let's get way up in here and just kind of pull that. Oh, yep. Just gently. See, the periopal is clear up into here. Now this frog ideally should be clear back here, but this is pulled somewhat under the foot. Really, uh, how did this horse escape getting trimmed wrong? Okay. Huh, look at there, you can see that part of the foot is loose, see it? Yeah. 